closer look in the newsroom. It's pretty unbelievable. Right here in the newsroom. Yeah, An interesting okay. situation here. This is Miami Beach. Bartender attacked by a customer. Uh, the brutal beating caught on tape, but the real shock came later. CNN's Keith Oppenheim reports. The regulars gathered at this neighborhood bar in Chicago while a security camera recorded tape. In this surveillance video, notice the man in the upper right corner of your screen. The bartender, Carolina, didn't know it at the time, but that customer was an off-duty Chicago police officer. Carolina would give her first name only, but agreed to review the tape with me. I think that I've been telling him that I'm not going to serve him anymore. Because you're concerned that he's yeah, well, getting wasted. Exactly. He has since been identified as Officer Anthony Abati. At one point, a body surprises Carolina and comes around to her side of the bar. But when a body bumps into the bar, he explodes. He punches her repeatedly. Keep in mind, according to prosecutors, a body is 6'1 and 250 pounds. Carolina says she's 5'4 and 130 pounds. As frightened bystanders keep a distance, Officer Abadi walks away. Carolina gets up despite multiple hits to her head, back, and ribs. It is one of the most brutal and savage attacks that I've ever seen caught on tape. Prosecutors have charged Officer Abadi with aggravated assault, a felony. Abadi's attorneys did not return CNN's calls. Carolina, what is your reaction that the person who beat you is a police officer? Actually, I couldn't believe. I was like, police is to serve and protect, not to beat up people. Chicago police released a statement about Officer Abadi, which said, a recommendation for termination is expected pending the completion of the internal investigation. Carolina says she's left with bad headaches and, as you might imagine, bad memories from what happened in this bar. Keith Oppenheim joins us now. Uh, Keith, I understand it took almost a month before the officer was arrested. Uh, why did it take so long? Well, Chicago police called me this morning to clarify why that took place. They said they first learned about this two days after the incident happened in February, and then two days after that, the state's attorney's office filed simple battery charges against Officer Abadi. Then Chicago police tried to arrest this police officer, and they can't find him. It turns out oh. he had checked into rehab, and by law, they can't pull him out of rehab. So it was not until March 14th, a little more than a week ago, that he turns himself in. And then, because of the tape, the state's attorney's office takes another look at it and ups the charges from a misdemeanor to a felony assault. I was about to ask you about his status, and now we know. Um, Keith, you were reporting yesterday that authorities are investigating whether, after the attack, uh, there were threats made against the bartender. Exactly. That's something that's still under investigation, mainly by the state's attorney's office now. What they're really trying to find out is whether or not somebody went into the bar after the attack and offered money to Carolina as well as the bar owner and basically told them not to pursue this case. So if that is proven to be correct, there could also be charges of intimidation and obstruction of justice in this case. Hmm. Keith Oppenheim for us from Chicago. Keith, thank you. A country in crisis, desperate people on the run. Thousands have fled Zimbabwe seeking refuge in South Africa. They say it's a matter of survival for them and in many cases, their families who've been left behind. CNN.